it happening? Yeah. It's happening. Hey. Hi, everybody. What's up? I think we're live. We've Matt Roden right here. That's my name. I'm Andy Lefkowitz. It's April 13th, and this is Broadway.com Live at 5. Today we have Johanna Day from the new Pulitzer Prize winning play Sweat. Pulitzer Prize winning. Indeed. Underline that one. For sure. And uh, before we kick off the interview yes. with Johanna. Please tell us the news. Awesome Please news. Please tell us the news. Yes. So JT Rogers' new play Oslo opens on Broadway tonight mm -hmm. at the Vivian Beaumont Theater. Mm -hmm. uh, previews began on March 23rd. Uh, the play stars Jennifer Ely and Jefferson Mays. And also announced today, Bart Schur, who is directing yes, it, yes, will yes, be yes. directing a film version of Oslo. Very exciting. Very exciting, exciting. yeah. Yes. And that, so that's going to go into production uh, later this year. Other big news today is Betsy Wolf. Betsy Wolf, baby. Betsy Wolf is going to be taking over for Sarah Bareilles in, in Waitress. Waitress. Yeah, she's going to be baking pies. Yes. Betsy Wolf, baking pies. She's going to do it. We're really excited. I'm very excited. Yes. I love Betsy and um, I think it's a, a it's a it's good casting. It's great casting. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so Betsy starts on June 13th, and Sarah Bareilles plays her final performance June 11th. Who's going to be there June 12th? Like, I don't know. Uh, you. It'll Come be, on, Matt. I, it Let's will make be me. that happen. Oh, I can play. I can play, Jenna. <laughs> I'm ready. In other big news, um, original School of Rock star Alex Brightman will be returning to the production starting tomorrow yeah. for a limited two-week run. Two weeks. He's going back in. He's, he's like, I'll go back and do it. it. He's like, why not? I'll go back, <laughs> hang out for a little bit. I love it. That's a great little gig. Yeah. I like that. Hey. Um, also, we got news that the Hello Dolly revival cast album will be released on May twelfth. It's the official. This is the official news. That it's it's, yeah, out. it's right. been official, official, but now it's but real, now it's real. really real. Yeah. Okay. Great. Very <laughs> so exciting. that's really exciting. Uh, also, uh, Angela Lansbury is going to lead a Sondheim tribute for Irish Repertory Theater. Not mad. <laughs> Not mad about that. Not mad. She's a good choice, right? Yeah. So uh, that's happening at the Town Hall on June 13th at 7 p.m. Be exciting. Yeah. And uh, also, we got news that Cynthia Erivo is going to be performing in a Bee Gees tribute. My girl and my band. Indeed. I love the Bee Gees. It, that's it's a good choice. I love seventies yeah. music. I'm like obsessed with the Bee Gees. So and I love Fever. Cynthia Erivo. And I love Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's going to be uh, on CBS on April sixteenth at eight o'clock p.m. That's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we have a new episode of Eva Noblezada's uh, vlog, American Dream. It's very Mr. cute. Gonstar. Very funny. Very cute. Yes. Very funny. And uh, we have uh, a roll call from Beth Level, Tony Winner. And now she's in Bandstand. She's in Bandstand on yeah. Broadway. Yeah. So it's definitely worth checking out. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we have a first look at production photos from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory yes. on Broadway. And uh, that's set to open on April 23rd at the Lundfontaine Theater. Very exciting. Yeah. The pictures look very cute. They I do. Very I, colorful. You know, I would hope so yeah. for Charlie and the Chocolate I know, Factory. I, would I would hope, so hope too, it was very right? colorful. Colorful. Like, not a dark yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but that's it for news. Okay. Now we have Johanna Day here yeah. from Sweat. Bring Come on, on, over. on. Bye, Andy. Bye. Johanna Day. It looks like, like how much of our faces are showing? It looks like it'd be like look, that close. Look, look, look. That's us. <laughs> well, you'll see us in a second. We're going to come on. Oh, there I am. There you are. How's the angle? How are you feeling about this angle? It's good. It's fine. It's great. It's good. Johanna Day, everybody. Hello. Um, Johanna, you are currently starring. Well, in an It's an ensemble, ensemble. piece. It's an yeah, ensemble yeah, yeah. piece. But you're in sweat on Broadway at Studio 54. That's right. How's that going? It's going really, really well. Um, you won a Pulitzer this week. Yes, Lynn Nottage won a Pulitzer. And... I mean, the texting that was going on. I was going to say, I want to know. It was insane. I want to know. It I, was, I mean, know. there were so many threads. Like, and, you know, I had some of our uh, the cast was going to go see a play that night. And then Kate's and Kate Wariski's in Chicago. And then Lynn. I mean, I called Lynn and left her a really loud, obnoxious <laughs> message. And then she called me back. This is before she, everything blew up. And she called me back and I said, did you hear my message? And she's like, no. And I'm like, hang up and go listen to it. Oh, my God. And then she had to start doing press and everything. Everything, but our texting, we're losing our minds. Did you guys go out and celebrate? No, because some people were going to a, um, a play, and I, I was determined not to leave home that day. You were like, this is my day off. I am yeah, not leaving my house. Yeah, I'd gone to a play last Monday. Um, was she, I mean, did you get a chance to talk to her after? Oh, she yeah, we had a, um, a get-together on uh, 
Tuesday. Was night. she surprised? Was she, I mean, I'm just interested to know sort of how she well, was. Well, I haven't about been, been able to ask her those detailed yeah. questions because I don't know why some of us thought that she wasn't eligible for it or something like that. It wasn't even I'm my mind. I'm glad she was. So I, I don't know. I mean, I think she was really, really happy. <laughs> I'm sure she was thrilled. <laughs> this is her second Pulitzer. This is her second Pulitzer. Yeah, she's in the company of, you know, August Wilson, Tennessee Williams, Edward Albee, okay. et cetera. Uh, okay, but also, <laughs> fun, but also, like, the most fun fact, like, she's got two. You, I mean, technically don't have them. No, I don't have them. But you, like, you've been in three Pulitzer Prize winning plays? How I Learned to Drive, Paula Vogel. Yeah. Um, Proof, David Auburn, and um, Sweat. Lynnottage. You need your own trophy case. Well, I, I, I was hoping maybe I could s sell myself like this. You know, be like, oh, hire me, win a Pulitzer. Put but, the asterisk on your resume. Right, but I don't like, think I could guarantee that. You don't think so? <laughs> You're like, I can't really promise you that. I can't promise that. Um, mm -mm. You, you've been involved with Sweat for a long time. Well, pretty long time um, at D.C. Okay. And, uh, and then the public and then... Broadway. Um, the Broadway, the, as they say on this show. I the remember. Broadway. That's what I say. That's how I introduce <laughs> it. Um, when you first read Sweat, initial reaction? Um, um, I knew it was really important, and I had to read it really quickly because I had to make a decision really, mm -hmm. really fast, and the part terrified me. Re Seriously? Uh-huh. And I, I mean, I had to... Decide. I knew it was just incredibly important. The part terrified me, and that, that means I have to do it. So Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, is that an automatic thing for you? That, like, if I'm scared of a role, like, I, I got to go do it. Well, not every role you're scared of. Sometimes no. you're scared <laughs> of a role, and you should not touch that thing. Yes. Okay. Yep, yeah, there, that, that is true. Yes, 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 yes. But, but, this but you know what I mean. Yeah, when yeah. You're, you're, like, it, it, just totally intrigued and, and um, fascinated, and it scares you, then. Tell the viewers at home, quick summary. Uh, what is sweat about? What what would um, you say it, it is? It's uh, it's a I don't know how Lynn Nottage was able to do this, but because it's about so many things, a lot of things. But really, on the paper, I don't. Where's the camera? Am I looking down straight? Right there. Hello. Hello, camera. Um, I felt like I went cross-eyed. <laughs> um, um, I probably did. Probably did. Um, you know. Uh, it's about a community, really close knit community in Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, that uh, all work, mostly all work at the factory, the steel factory. And uh, it, it takes place in the year 2000 yep. when NAFTA was first starting and uh, jobs and uh, companies were being shipped over to Mex Mexico. And people started losing their jobs and getting locked out of um, uh, their, their work. And in, and eventually losing their pensions yeah. and everything, and they went without work fighting, you know. But so it's an interesting tale of how this and this tiny little town can affect these. These people are so tight knit and so loyal to each other, and great friendships, and you just fall in love with them. And, and it's a real town. It's, it's about a real town. Yeah, yeah. That's where Lynn did all. Uh, Lynn and Kate did their research. Lynn started it there. Yeah, and um, that's and it's about. What is the word that when, when I can't think of the word, but just what happens when how a community can be affected and it affects the friendships and and race racism yeah. comes to a head like when it normally never would you know and um and but it ends in a in a really kind of beautiful heart wrenching positive place though which I think is great I think so yeah um I I think it, what's super interesting is that um I, for me theater is a is a source of empathy that, like, the, the point is to go in and to see, experience, like, have someone else's experience well, and, and see also, someone else's experience. And for many, uh, to recognize themselves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With, in, in someone else. Yeah, and um, not feel so alone. And so I think the reason why this is so important is because it is about, like, a small town, a super specific spot in the world, in the country, yeah. that wouldn't really be on people's radars otherwise. No. Um, and so it's I, on the Monopoly board, Reading. It's on a Monopoly We board. had a young woman come from Reading uh, that... I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, because it was one of the hugest uh, railroad, you know, intersections okay. and lots of shipment because of all the yes. industry. Yes, yep. And a, a girl came and we brought her up to the dressing room the other day and she was young. She's going to AMDA here in the city. Great. And she's from Reading. Her parents are teachers. She came in in tears and she said, now we're not just a, a place on the Monopoly board um, and we're not the butt of jokes. We're a play. 
<laughs> That's amazing. I know. And I think for people, especially in New York, like it can be such a bubble. It can be such a... I learned more th about myself doing this play than ever. You know, oh, liberal artist type, you know, I'm cool. I'm cool as hell. <laughs> We're progressive. I know, yeah, right? right? It, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know about a lot of stuff going on in the world. But I think that's a wonderful thing to learn. I think it's it's it's, it's important. Fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Um, have you found that with everything that you've done? Have you found like you've have you learned about something about yourself in every play you've done? I'm assuming the answer is yes. Yes, yeah. I have. And you know, one day I, a while back, about ten years ago, I, I had to find a reason why I was doing this and how it could possibly change the world. And I was like, not so much. Not rocket science. I'm not healing anybody. Yeah. And so I don't know if it's a rationalization or not. But I finally went. You know. This, it made me more truthful as an actor. I, I said, well, if I can be more and more truthful about who these people are that I'm playing, then someone's not going to feel alone in the world. You know? And, that, and, that and, and counts. having a positive effect on someone else, oh, even yeah. one person. It's fantastic. That's how you make a change in, yeah. in the world. That's how you have an impact on and then you sort of share your impact with other people. Yeah. Um, so you've done three Pulitzer Prize winning plays. Has there been anything in all three that's been like super consistent? Like, has there been a? Is there some sort of other than you? Is there something <laughs> that'd be me? Yeah, that'd be you. Um, is there is there something in <laughs> no. terms of the pattern that like that that you see in every rehearsal room or or something like that? Do you have a sense when you're doing it? Do you can you tell? You know what? It's been. <clears throat> I was in August Osage County also, but I took over for Amy Morton, and you know, all these plays and proof and how I learned to drive. <clears throat> the people in them. And the director and the writers, we all felt that there, there was some huge importance. That's and, really and interesting. And it really, I feel, it might not be true, I feel it really bonds people together in a special way that you cannot even describe. But it's a love, it's a safe place, like uh, uh, the cast of Sweat. I mean, we are so close and have the best time together. It's like we have to howl and laugh off stage, otherwise, you know be an insane asylum yes it would but um <laughs> but um yeah i think that's it i think it's a bonding thing that happens because the plays are extraordinary well they're unbelievable and yeah i'm sure the family dynamic backstage obviously contributes to like yeah trusting each other on trusting stage. yeah trust mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what you find is sort of the well yeah because we line. have to really trust each other yeah and course. our and our relationships kind of get a little volatile and we we have to have a good relationship to be able to do that yeah. on stage. Um, we were talking um, a little bit before in, in in the holding room about how, first of all, this is Paula Vogel's play is about to make her Broadway debut. Yes. But this is also Lynn Nottage's Broadway debut, which is yeah. so strange to me because as someone who like went to theater school, their, their names were just like so much in the vernacular. So you know All what I the mean? time. And so it's shocking. And they have a very close relationship. Paula taught Lynn. It's, that's amazing. Yeah. It's just so shocking to me that they're both making their Broadway debuts in 2017. Yeah, what's wrong with the world, guys, with this women thing? The women thing. Women not the women on thing. Uh, Broadway. But now, writers. but hmm. now... But we're but we're moving forward. We're changing we're, some stuff. Yeah, making making a change, yeah. a shift, a difference. Yeah, it's about time. Um, I think so too. Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with us. This also, uh, notice my. Button. I was about to. I was going to ask you about fair it. wage on stage. This is the new button. Fair wage. Uh, on council, fair wage on stage was for the off Broadway contracts trying mm -hmm. to get us more money. Which and it worked. Which it worked, and now we want uh, the fair wage people that really started that, um, really fought for us. They want to get on um, equity council, and so it's a big deal. We want. Oh, because there's elections coming up. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. I know those emails. I get all the election emails and I all know. those things. Pay attention. Paying attention. Um, <laughs> vote. <laughs> yeah, you gotta vote, right? Uh, we learned. Yeah. We learned. I know. That I know. Once. Exactly. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It was fun. I was so scared. Why? Because I'm bad at this. <laughs> I just. I mean, I just think it's fun. It's relaxed. I know. I wasn't gonna quiz you on anything like crazy. This like one. I know. Our first time meeting was at the opening night where yeah. we, we were played. It was like 2000. a test. Yeah, but it's like you fun test. But I did get all of them wrong, except one. But like, because I cheated. But wrong answers. But wrong answers are better than right answers for me. Like wrong answers make for a better you, video. Because you make fun of the people. Yeah. Okay. That's great. But I don't like make fun of. It's just like the whole thing. Um, and I also didn't know about. Um, I that night I learned about that song. In, in oh yeah, 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 yeah. Conan O'Brien. I didn't know that was like a thing. Yeah. You're. You're a baby. I'm a baby. baby. I'm a baby. <laughs> um, thanks so much for coming. Thank on. you very much. That this was, was fun. lovely. This was lovely. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Come see Sweat. Go see Sweat on Broadway. It's so, it's so, it's so.
so it's a night you'll never forget. And I want a Pulitzer. So, like, <clears throat> come on now. Yeah. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Cheers.